Hello, and welcome back to I, the Somnium Files Nirvana Initiative. So, in the last one, we witnessed another victim. Well, we didn't witness a murder, but we witnessed uh, Komeiji's body well, in the studio, where we got knocked out. And that was, that was pretty upsetting. Turns out the terror was hiding nearby, waiting for us to leave? Very, very strange. And Mame got to see them, so we're, like, running around looking for Mame trying to uh, see what she knows, but we haven't found her yet. Also, we learned about Ryuki having some sort of short-term memory disorder, cognitive... It's probably not... Oh no, yeah, I reloaded the game, so th there wouldn't be anything in the log. Cognitive... Dysfunction? Disorder? So, he is... not doing well, and he's getting worse. So, yeah, <laughs> that's an issue. Uh, also, I'm dealing with some bad technical issues, so I apologize if the mic randomly, if you see the light go off, that means my mic reset and you won't be able to hear me. I don't know why, it just randomly disconnects on its own and I have to manually go and like set it back up. So if that happens in the middle of a cutscene, I will just not say anything. And then after that scene's done, I will uh, reset it. I, I, I don't know what's going on with it. I, I thought it was a power thing, but... I have no idea. It just wants to reset like once every 30 minutes sometimes. Only sometimes, not always. It'd be better if it was always. Alright, we are, uh... We're going for Impish still, under M Mizuki. What's an effective way of training? Uh, bench press, back press, deadlift, upright row. I want to say deadlift would be Impish. I'm gonna go with deadlift. That's crazy? Oh, okay. It's training for deltoid Z, but it's good for butt lifting too -y. Right now, it's a gamble what I end up with. I, do, I don't want Date again, because if I get Date again, I don't get eyeballies. Anyways, we're actually done here with Momo? Well, what was that? Oh, his chair. I guess I did miss something. Okay, um, we need to go to Marble, Yoyagi Park, and Brahmin. She, there's a good chance she's at Brahmin, so I want to do that last, but uh, she could be a marble, so I'm going to go to Yoyagi first. All free. Doesn't look like a mame is here. Oh, I don't have an on auto. But wait, Leon is. Yeah, it's expected. <laughs> Leon is obsessed with Kizuna, and Kizuna is Amame's friend. Yeah, he might know where Mame is. Let's ask. Oh, you again. What's up? Do you know a girl named Amame Doi? Oh, Kizzy's friend. Of course I know her. Do you know where she is? Yeah, I do. Oh. Really? I saw her earlier. Where? Hmm, I don't know. Oh boy. Give me a hundred thousand yen and I'll think about it. You can't be serious. I'm low on cash. Come on, Ryuki. That's not a small amount to ask for. Fine, we'll do this. Leon, do you have a 500 yen coin? Yeah, I do. I'm going to look away, and you put it in one of your hands. If I can guess which hand it's in, tell me for free. And if you're wrong? I'll pay you. All right, <laughs> sounds good to me. Let's do this. Don't peek. Oh, you appealed to a gambler. Gambler side of him. Okay, I'm ready. I bet he didn't put it in any hand. Either way, Guess. we have x-ray. Which hand is it in? Um... <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, I need to really think about this. Big pond. Wooden bench. Tree. Can I look at this? Yeah, God, I, I wish that were me. 
No. I need to learn restraint. <laughs> Good decision. You're just a dirty old man. That's all that's all you are, Tama. Concrete bench. Machine chat. Oh right, I should use the mouse when I'm uh, doing this nonsense. Street light, even though it looks kind of awkward sometimes. Is that it? I think that's actually it. There is nothing going on here. Stone monument. Wow, I remember there being more stuff here last time. Oh, can of beer. Oh, I can't. I can't click on it. Okay. He has both his hands out. Oh. He's not trying to scam us. You can see his bone structure. Scan both hands. Scan both his hands and... What happens if I just say right hand? I kind of want to see what happened. Will, will Thomas stop us? Because it would involve paying money. I'm I'm hitting it. Huh? What is this bullshit? I had a feeling. Hmm. Too bad. Oh. Ah, <sighs> fine. I gave Leon the cash. Huh. Thanks, man. Wait a minute. This is a coin from Bosnia and Herzegovina. <laughs> I said I'd pay you. I never said with what. Damn it. You got me. Why the hell are you even carrying around coins from Bosnia and Herzegovina? What is that? It never hurts to be prepared. Oh my god. How long have you been sitting <laughs> on that one? By the well, way... Fine. I did make a promise. One... C convert to Bilna Marka is equivalent to 64 yen. So 100,000 uh, Marka is 6.4 million yen? Wait. Wait, what? That's so much money. How rich is Ryuki? I don't think Leon knew that. Sheesh. Oh yeah, Ryuki is rich. Wait. You were carrying around the equivalent of 6.4 million yen, and you just handed it over. Yuki, what are you doing? Uh, I do kind of want to reload. I, I'm assuming this is going to be the same on either side. Well, fine, I did make a promise. So I'm going to reload and get it right. Uh, but that trivia was absolutely worth it. So, hold on. Alright. I mean, it's not like we actually lose money, but I do have to see what happens when I get it right. Left hand, huh? Are you sure? You can change it if you want to. <laughs> you trying to pull that nonsense? Wow, if it was RNG, that would have been... <laughs> nope, left hand for uh -huh. sure. Darn it! See? I got it right, How wow. did you know? Superpowers. Ugh, damn. Okay, so that well, that was fine. Oops, I meant to hit auto off. Did make but... a promise. So so that that one was much shorter. Getting it wrong is way better, in my opinion. I saw Mama at I O N. I O N. That's the child services facility run by Richie Chieda. He's in his father. It's Valentine's Day today, right? We promised to meet up tonight, but I couldn't wait any longer. I want to see Kizzy right now. I don't need to talk to her. Seeing her from afar is enough. So Stalker. that's why I went to Ion. It's kind of like wanting to watch porn before going to happy ending places. I don't think this is anything like that. <laughs> Mame was there. Mame, Kizzy, and Iris were talking. They had real serious looks on their faces. I couldn't barge into their conversation, so I left without saying anything. They were discussing something serious then. Those three saw Komeiji's body at Studio Devita, and Mame might have told them about the terror. Maybe they were talking about that. Why are you even looking for Mame? Well, you see... Wait, is Mame a suspect in the HB case? What? No, that definitely couldn't be it. 
It's the end. I'm gonna wink sync for sure, but why do you think she's a suspect? Oh, actually, four days ago, on the 10th of February, I saw Mommy then too, in front of Horadori Institute. She didn't notice me though. Anyway, Mommy headed into Horadori Institute by herself. What business does she have at that research facility? That's what I was thinking to myself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nye's nice Japan. I know what you're thinking. Why would you think she's suspect just because of that, right? Well, you're right. I don't even know if Mame and Tokiko saw each other in there anyway. Possibly. Not to mention Tokiko was killed two days ago, on the night of the 12th. So maybe it's got nothing to do with it. Nah, it probably doesn't. Just coincidence. But for whatever reason, it caught my attention. Huh. Actually helpful, thank you. Uh, what are you drinking? I thought I told you that before. It's Alfrey. Non-alcoholic beer. Oh, did you buy that's... that? Uh, of course I did! Okay, maybe it's true that I did steal a lot before. I know it's nothing to brag about, but they did call me the master of unlocking. Ugh. But that's all in the past. Did you always steal by yourself? It depended on what needed stealing. Sometimes I went alone, sometimes in pairs. If it was a big target, like some mansion in the boonies, I'd go with a team of five or six guys. The leader of the group was a Kumakura. You know them, right? That's how I met Moma, the chairman of the Kumakuras. I was usually partnered with Quartz. They were kind of like a bodyguard. Helped me out whenever I got in a sticky situation. Why Quartz. am I even telling you all this? I think I've said too much. Please forget it. It's all in the past. Like I said, he already went to prison and like did his time. All so right, it doesn't I'm matter. gonna get going. I'm gonna see Kizzy tonight. I need to head to the beauty salon first. Beauty salon. Anyway, adios. Definitely reloading because I didn't, I didn't wink, wink sync him. Why was Mame at Horidori Institute? Four days ago. It's interesting that Tokiko was behind her as well. Hmm. Horidori Institute. I remember. The goal was, the goal to, was get to get inside, inside the, the hidden, hidden room inside, room inside Horidori, Horidori Institute. Institute. We totally put that on hold. Mm -hmm. We need to go search that hidden room. Uh, but going now would be pointless. If it's a hidden room, it's gotta be a secret and locked up tight. They're not just gonna let us in there. Anyway, we should focus on the task at hand. Find Amame. Yeah. Leon said he saw her at Iowen. If only someone who's good at unlocking could help us get in. Uh, I'm gonna reload and talk to him again. It seems like we're safe to check the other places now, for sure. Uh, I hate that they all show up on the list, but what, 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 what can you do? We'll, we'll get through it. All right, I just wanna get date with Kuz Kizuna and the wink sink out of the way so a date i guess it was a date because it was valentine's day yeah why do you ask nothing just Kizuna saw komeiju's body at the studio and then went on a date with leon well we already know that he just watched her from afar though it's not really a date maybe she had an ulterior motive what where did that come from Kizzy! Yeah, I'm excited for tonight. We should meet. Okay, okay. I'll see you there. Well, he's talking about the date later, not... <laughs> I think it's because I, I, I forgot the, uh... The context that I just skipped coming up to this, but yeah. Uh, he said he couldn't wait till tonight, so he was watching her from afar. <laughs> Stalker. But still. Uh... I thought that was referring to the date. Okay, uh, let's get out of here now. Maybe she does have an ulterior motive, though. Who knows? Um, let's go to Marble. I want to see Mama. Welcome. We aren't open yet, though. What?
Welcome to Lock Your Doors. I've got something for you, Ryuki. What? It's hard, and it'll <laughs> leave a mess all over your hands. I know exactly what Mama's talking about. It's chocolate. That's what I was going to say. It's Valentine's Day. I wanted all my customers to get some. How thoughtful. There are bottles lined up. Let's count how many there are. Did you count the number of bottles? Uh... Good math practice. Good job. Wait. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Inside the box is something hard. Play with it too much and you'll be left with a mess in your hands. Okay. I like getting into holes, if you know what I mean. Wh what are you talking about? Oh, don't make me say it. You mean... <laughs> Spelunking. That has nothing to do with the bar counter. Yeah. What? 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 That was completely unprovoked. Beer tap. Book. That's a suspicious book. The spine says, best eats in the spirit world. Okay. Ryuki, want to see a video of balls getting hit with a hard stick? Ooh, I'm curious. It's just billiards. I was trying to think of anything else that could be besides pool, but no. No, I, I have no idea. <laughs> There's a TV set. Bottles and glasses on the shelf. Oh, come on, you gotta give me something else. The shelf. You could you could hide like a little thing in here that has like a really funny scene, but nope. Crystal ball. The balls. To menu. There's an occult poster on the wall. Not mama. Oh right, I, I can just look at the blackboard that's <laughs> Menu's Special written on the blackboard. Pinchos, huh? I'd like to taste your pinchos too. Thank you, Mama. I think there's a movie hand poster. Warmer trader. It's about four boys who go on a journey with a hand warmer that's holding a dangerous substance. <laughs> what? What is that supposed to be? It. With a hand warmer. I I don't know. It's a sofa. Is that a reference to something? I feel like it it is. And it's it's a movie I, I would know. No, maybe not. If it's a mama's bar, I probably wouldn't know it. Uh, actually. The flyer. I think that is everything. Are we good? Kind of surprised the door isn't a thing. It's a thing in every other place. She's pol polishing the, her crystal balls. Say thanks for the chocolate. Thanks for the chocolate. I appreciate it. Don't thank me, honey. Just don't forget to get me something on White Day. What do you want? Um, well... You can return the favor. Meaning? Something hard that will leave a mess all over my hands. Alright, let's just give her chocolate. <laughs> Mama, you are something. Wink sink. Oh, you want to know why there are two balls? This way I have a spare if one stops working. That's the entirety of your wink sink, huh? Um, do you know where Mama is? We already know, but... I don't follow. Did she get into trouble? She may have come into contact with Terror. She might have valuable information. Well, okay then. Let's ask the big milky balls. Could you call them something else? Oh, mighty balls. Who has the softest, bounciest skin in all the land? That is... Mama, of course. That's right. Oh, <laughs> you know it. Who gives a shit? I agree. <clears throat> now, serious mode this time. 
O Balls, the great and powerful, please find someone for me. Her name is Amame Doi. Where is she right now? You should go to the Nice Japan branch. Huh? You should gain some valuable information there. Ooh. How was it? Thanks, that was helpful. The Nice Japan branch. Are you going to take her seriously? Not necessarily, but it won't hurt to check, right? I don't know which one would advance the story. Please let me do both. Uh, she... Leanne did see her at Iowin, but that was earlier, so she's probably not there, and we could just go there safely? Probably. Maybe. What martial art are you good at? Impish. Um... Capoeira seems like loving to me. I don't remember which one we hit before. I think I hit cap Capoeira for loving. I don't know the rest, though. Um, Sistema? What the hell is that? I've never heard of that. Jiu-Jitsu does not seem impish. Absolutely. I think that might be brave. But Muay Thai... Uh, let's, let's do Sistema. Crazy? Is it true you can breathe a certain way to not feel painy? I guess so. Okay. Well, that didn't work out. It's fine. Any information on the HP case? Mm, information, huh? Oh, I saw something online. There's this creepy video going around. Do there you know multiple. about it? Are you talking about the Nirvana trial? No, not that one. There's another one. What? It was released at midnight. It's called Nirvana X. X? That's right. Oh Ryuki, I looked it up. Mm -mm. Once again, the original uploader is anonymous. It's just like that QR video. I thought it might have something to do with the HB case. Mama, did you watch the video? Yeah. I have it saved on my smartphone. Wanna see? No, Ryuki. Don't do it. Something bad might happen again. Yeah. Say no. No more vi Oh my god, I have to do it. <laughs> Uh, the ViewCube videos that have been released so far have not included anything that would induce a subliminal effect. But that doesn't mean they're safe. Interesting. There's a possibility that there is was a special product production, I have to just get out of that, technique that only works on people like Ryuki, who suffered some kind of trauma. Oh... Interesting. The subliminal effect is a phenomenon in which a stimulus is given below the threshold of human perception, causing unconscious desires and emotions to arise in a person. That's an interesting way to go about it. So his trauma, something in there is just like the tiniest trigger that like... I, I don't want to, but I have to. Like, I have to. Like, I don't want Ryuki to... Mama, it's fine. Please. Ryuki! Okay, then. I'm going Sorry, to stream Tama. it on the screen over there. It's probably better to watch it on a bigger screen. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Clickety-click. I don't know what here would trigger his trauma. Two fifteen twelve DD. Huh. You okay? What did I tell you? 
I warned you! Uh huh? Is he okay? I think I'm okay. Yeah. Don't scare oh. me like that. Is it like a delayed trigger thing? Is it gonna happen later now? Hmm. Why didn't that one work? Judging by the name, it's gotta have something to do with the Nirvana Initiative. The yeah. incidents at Shinjuku might be related too. What incidents? Well, one example is what happened with that rocket. Luckily, there weren't any casualties. Anyway, I think that was like a test run for the initiative, but we don't know anything for sure. Where the actual show will happen, who's behind it and why, we don't know any of the details. We do have a clue as to when, though. Hmm? The Nirvana X video. There were two codes on there. Huh? One of them was 2151200. I thought those were I these. think it's a date and a time. February 15th, 12 p.m. Okay. Yeah, noon tomorrow. The date and time when the Nirvana initiative will begin. There's not much time. What about the letters? Not sure about that one. That has something to do with genetic code, I think. I actually don't... Uh, I, I... I couldn't tell you offhand, but something about this just reminds me of DNA. And I don't know what it is. I, it's been a long time since I was in school. I don't think there was an A. Oh, man. It could be a, a code to just scramble, just like the one that Shoma figured out. The numbers represented a time and date, so I'm guessing those were for a location. A location? Oh, oh, uh, no. Too late. Hmm. We have a lot to think about now. Let's get a move on. I'm not going to try to... He scrambled it though, but if it was a location, there, there was a comma in there. It was absolutely a location. Um, let's go to Brahmin. And then I'm gonna go to Iowan. And if Amame is there, Amame. I might just back out and go to Nyes instead. She was here earlier. Really? She left pretty quick though. Okay. It's counter. The chair. Oh, I love this song. Picture of Ganesha. Come on, we're still in me mode. You got something, Tama. Something terribly sexual for reasons. <laughs> Alcoholic beverages, posters. Actually, yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. The freezer door, which he can't get into for some reason just lost the key I think that's it huh okay he's in the kitchen prepping food actually let me just like turn all the way there we go okay Do door didn't have anything <laughs> where's mom she said she was headed to Iris's house the Sagan household huh Thanks. I've been trying to get a hold of her, but... Her phone is out of battery. She told me earlier. I see. Why are you looking for Amame? She's the killer. No, I'm kidding. They are close. I can't tell them there's a reason to believe she ran into terror. I don't want him to worry about her. I'll play it off. I don't know if you can. You're a detective. Well, uh, you see... You are terrible at playing it off. Uh, why didn't you pick up the phone earlier? I was so busy today. We're expecting a lot of customers, so I have a lot of prep to do. Why are you expecting a rush? You know about what happened in Shinjuku yesterday? We're actually pretty close to there. A rocket? That's right. So anyway, there's tons of people around here now. I thought some of them might stop by here. Wait, he... he I know, I know... Uh... Mama mentioned a rocket, but it's kind of weird that he didn't, like, say... It's the way he delivered that. Like, he was responding to Gen saying a rocket. A rocket? 
he didn't like say it like, oh yeah, a rocket went off or something. He was like, what? A rocket? So it's a little. Maybe he would have told us about the rocket if we went here first instead of Mama. That makes sense. Why was Mame here? It's Valentine's Day today, isn't it? Well, she brought some chocolate. Chocolate? Yeah, why? Is something wrong? Mame saw terror at the studio. Right after that, she saw Komeiji's body. But she still brought Gen chocolate? Hmm. I tried calling Iris, but still no dice. We should just head to the Sargon household. Yeah, good idea. That's, uh, that's a lot of people. We've been sent in three different directions now. Hitomi's gonna be here, right? Are we finally gonna get to meet her in this game? Also, why is Date not with Hitomi? Is that whole thing just out the window? It was just, because now that he's back to normal, you'd think he'd be with Hitomi. Or maybe she just doesn't like him anymore. Uh, nice. Sagan. Iowen. I, I do want to probably go to Iowen first. Because we know for a fact. She's. She was there earlier. So she's probably not there now. Nice is unreliable information. Mama just fortune told us to go to Nice, So I doubt that's real. I think she's actually at Iris's. Tom and I headed to Iowen. There's nowhere to be seen. Neither were Kizuna or Iris, who were supposed to supposedly with her. Yeah, that was earlier, though. I asked a worker if they saw the three girls. They answered, I saw them here before, but that was a while ago. Well, we tried. Let's go. No, wait. That person over there. What, what the... Excuse me! It was so polite. Nice to see you again. Why are you here? <sighs> Iowan dormitory. You know what pansies mean in the language of flowers? They usually mean, think of me, my dearest. Okay, and? <laughs> Forget it. Pansies are in bloom. I thought she was going to be way dirtier than that. Sand, beaches, swimsuits. So perverted. You're reaching a bit, no? Uh, wow. I got nothing. It's so big. Tama, out of curiosity, was it Pewter who programmed your personality? Thank you. Nope. What? Then who programmed you? I don't know, but they were definitely an arrow grammar. That, I've been wondering that all game and blaming Pewter. Okay, someone else programmed her. Hmm. What about... It, it, co it couldn't be Date. I don't think he's smart enough for that, but I think he helped. <laughs> I think he instructed them. A slide. A swing set! She just got the What's Date... Uh, this place? It's filled with lewd objects. I think you're the only one who thinks that. Don't, don't loot a swing set. That makes no sense. Tama, what are you? Jungle gym. Jungle gym. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just a play on the words, I assume? It's like a seesaw of eroticism. A what? She's getting worse. He's he's losing his mind more, and she is just getting more and more lewd. As well, I, Ryuki, I that thing is criminally perverted. You need to arrest Ricci right away. Why? A spring playset? I actually can't. Is that the thing you sit in and it like bounces back and forth? Yeah. I don't see it. Woman wearing a mask. I sense some hostility. Well, let's uh let's wink sing first. I need to hurry. If I don't Oh, come on. If I don't what? 
<sighs> Your mask is on upside down. Your body is the opposite. What? Okay. Why are you barefoot? Rats don't wear shoes. But you're not a rat. Squeak, squeak. Are you really <laughs> a rat? Or uh, go again? Okay. Your clothes are worn out. I forgot to put mothballs in the dresser. I like your outfit, but yeah, realistically, that is super torn at the bottom, all the way across. What are you doing here? <laughs> Where is it? Where is the main event taking place? Main event? Yeah, she's looking for... She's probably there trying to goes. decode the thing. What was she talking about? Maybe a Halloween event or something? Wrong season for that. Maybe she was talking about that one thing. What? Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't you? Uh, Halloween is all about costumes. Speaking of costumes makes me think about monsters, which makes me think about unidentified animals. Uma. I think my favorite Uma is a chupacabra, found in Puerto Rico. It has big fangs in its mouth, and it sucks the bloods of humans and livestock. It can jump over 15 feet. I don't remember the specific height, but it seems to be relatively small in comparison to other monsters. Thank you. Random, random trivia. I absolutely don't. Don't make me say it. You know what I mean, don't you? I absolutely don't. There's no point in paying further attention to her. We should head to... A different spot. Okay. She is such a mystery. I, I'm not even going to attempt to guess. Um, Nice. Because I do not think she's here. If she is, I'm switching and going to Saigon Residence. Yeah, I don't think she could be in here. Hey! It was two days ago that Tokiko's body was found here. The investigation is still ongoing. So, what are you planning on doing here? Mame wouldn't be here. I didn't come here expecting to find Mame. You should go to the Nice Japan branch. You should gain some valuable information there. What valuable information could be here? I don't know, but let's look around. Oh boy. We haven't seen this guy since the beginning. Nice symbol, houseplant. I don't think there'll be as much memeing in here. Evidence marker. A laptop, it's Tokiko's. Did they bust in? There's a big window, waterfall, pond. That's actually That's it. No memes. We're we're not we're not memeing here. Um Police officer. How are you? It's all right now. Because I am here. Half bites. Northern Mariana Islands. Smash. <laughs> Hell yeah. Someone actually responded to him without being like, "What?" Uh, any new intel? Yeah, there isn't anything here. Okay, anything regarding Mame? Mame? It's this girl. Hmm. Don't recognize her. When did we get that? The image of a Mame that appeared on Riki's hand. There, that was a hologram shot out from my left eye. Huh. How cool am I, huh? Very cool. Okay, I can I I can only wink sync once, I guarantee it. And I'd rather wink sync this guy, I think. <sighs> no. I would rather wink sync you. So that's how it's going to be. Well, What's your name? I suppose it's not that bad. Is this getting a little too scripted? Yeah. That's what the people want. Anyway, my name is Gagami. That's my line. How dare you? What's your name? Huh? Did you forget already? <sighs> Fine. My name is Kagami. Yeah, but what's your name? K-A. Ga. Mm -hmm. 
G A M I. M I. Yeah, but what is your name? I already know his name. I don't need to ask again. Pretty sure I know his name. I probably don't need to ask. His, uh, his name is what? What is? What was it again? Very well, Mr. Ryuki. You can give me a nickname. That way, you won't forget. A nickname, huh? Kanaiza. Something easy to remember would be good, right? Exactly. How about Kagami? <laughs> That's an easy nickname to remember. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> oh god. That felt sincere. Oh, we're done? You love it. Don't lie. <sighs> About Mame. Do you know this girl? Her name is Amame Doi. Oh, I know her. She's a mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. That's true, but how do you know that? Oh, um, well, I've been there a few times. Okay. I wanted to investigate the day-to-day -day lives of young women. As an inspector? I need to know what's in. It's an important part of being an inspector. That's a tough sell. Do you know where she is now? Uh, no, I wouldn't know. I can tell you that she isn't working right now, though. I heard from another girl that she hasn't been feeling well recently. Right. It's unlikely that she'd be at Sunfish Pocket. Mame saw terror at the studio. And right after that, she saw Komeiji's body. It's unlikely she'd be at work with all that going on. Um, kind of surprised you wouldn't check just to make sure, though. Where's Tokiko's body? The body is long gone for the autopsy. It really is a shame. She was killed right before her birthday. Tokiko's birthday is February 15th. There was a huge party planned for her here. It really is such a shame. Really? Didn't you say something about being reborn? If she's like reborn on her birthday. <laughs> okay, we have to wink sync him. Screw the battery. Hmm, this has become a difficult situation. There are many factors to consider, taking into account probability and all. Well, what dating app should I use? You're going through the real struggles, I see. And now we can't wink sync. I, I will reload just to wink sync the other two because I'm curious, but. Ushidera! Uh, anything regarding Mame? Who? This girl. No. I don't know where she is. I see. Do you know. Where are you going? Uh, do you know who she is? Hmm, did you search? No, no, Any clues on the president's office? It's not a lead or anything, but it is interesting. What is? It's gonna take some time to prepare. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Can you give us a hint? Did you search downstairs? Mm hmm? You talking about the underground cathedral? It's off limits right now. There's concerns that it might collapse. So you don't know about the box? The box? There was a box there with a strange-looking device. Tama, can you show the image? Sorry, I don't have it. What? Ryuki, when you went to the cathedral, you fell off the bridge, remember? The impact caused me to lose some of my memory. What? I was only able to recover up to finding Tokiko's body in the president's office. No backups? Oh boy. Because it was so deep underground, there was no signal down there. There's no... Come to think of it, there were some network problems. Exactly. So I couldn't upload the data to the cloud. Damn. Ah, she's a data... Data talker. Ryuki, I'm ready. Not data. That's what I mentioned to you earlier. Oh, please go ahead. Look at that pond over there. Sh sure. Is that? It's Tokiko's hologram. Her laptop was in the desk. There was a program running. This. I think it's some software aimed at these cultists. Needless to say, it's just an image. So she can't really interact with you. But she does talk. Lectures, even. If you give her a topic, she'll give some pre-recorded response. You can choose from four. 
Wow. Moksha, gain, formless emptiness, and the allegory of the cave. There's other data in there too somewhere, but it'll take time to get at. Seriously? Well, that's pretty useful. Uh, hold on. I think I forgot about someone. <laughs> kind of manga, a manja topping do you like? Impish would be, I think cheese was impish, wasn't it? That's like taking the, you know, the normal way out, the easy way out. I think it might be cheese. Yeah. I remember accidentally getting that right last time. Okay, we're at, oh, at least Impish is highest right there. All right, one sec before this. Okay. Which one? Game? This world is a simulation. Thus, its creator must have created with intention. This intention we can never know for certain. But we can surmise and we can estimate. Imagine you attempt an action, but that action is prevented by something incomprehensible to you. It is reasonable to assume that action was something not considered by the creator. Contrarily, if you attempt an action and feel yourself compelled by some otherworldly force, it is probably something the creator did expect. Like rats trapped in a maze. Mm -hmm. Go in the wrong direction and receive a shock. Go in the right direction and receive a prize. What if you jump? Considering through? this, perhaps this simulation is actually a game. You jumped the wall, a though. A game about escaping this inscrutable maze. Can you win this game? The creator probably wants you to. Thank you. Uh, what is mok moksha? Moksha, or enlightenment. One is only truly free when free from all desires. But this state of mind is not something that can be easily defined or described in words. It is implicit knowledge. It is not something you can understand without experiencing it for yourself. Imagine, for example, someone who has never seen the color red. It is impossible to explain to that person what the color red is. You can't truly understand the redness of the color red until you experience it. Moksha is similar in this way. For, for anyone who is colorblind, that is absolutely just red right there. So how can you reach Moksha? Among Hindu followers are those known as the Sadhu. They follow a strict spiritual path of penance in an attempt to reach moksha. For example, one may stand on just one leg for decades, or try to roll across the entire Indo-Chinese continent. What? One may live on a bed of nails. Another might strike his head upon a pillar thousands of times. What? Among Buddhists, there are the ascetics. They perform a thousand-day circumambulation walking 30 miles a day around steep mountains. And they chant the mantras without pausing to eat, drink, or even sleep for nine whole days. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma, sat cross-legged facing a wall without rest for nine years straight. But how do all these things achieve moksha? Is it because pain and penance cause your desires and thoughts to dull and disappear? That may be part of it. Or is it perhaps the state of nothingness that comes over you upon achieving these feats? One may come to the conclusion that desires themselves are illusory. Nyes has a slightly different interpretation. Do you know how a debugger finds bugs in games? They try to run into walls over and over and over again. They sure they do. They go to places that normal players won't go, or leave the game on for days. They do things that normal players don't do. Unpredictable actions that the programmers failed to anticipate. That is how bugs that weren't even considered in the planning stages are found. 
Does this remind you of anything? Hitting your head on a pillar a thousand times. Sitting toward a wall for nine years. What if these actions were not anticipated by the creator? So you're saying debuggers for video games are <laughs> the closest to achieving enlightenment. What I don't if these feel actions it. uncovered bugs in the real world? What if they revealed the seams? In other words, these practitioners of the extraordinary are trying to find the seams. Find them and achieve enlightenment. Learn the secret of this world. The truth. And so we believe that Moksha is this journey. That was that was really interesting. Uh shit. Did I just hit I was still I was still I was trying to advance the text up top, but I was still talking to her and it hit that's enough. Okay, I'm gonna reload, because that I was not done. Not done at all. Alright, and while we're while we're here, I'm also going to wink sync him. Uh strong point. Honesty and integrity. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean to brag, but my real strong point is loyalty. As long as it's not blind loyalty. Okay, I'm gonna get back there. Okay, so I'm gonna hit back there. Now I can advance this. Bodhi Bodhidharma meditated in the direction of a wall for nine years. There have been idioms created about this. Since he was in the same position for so long, his rims allotted rims his limbs rotted off which is why the Dar daruma dolls sold in stores look the way they do oh interesting i think i remember reading that like if you color in the eyes of the dharma you fulfill a, or no no you color in one eye to make a wish and then once you fulfilled that wish or dream uh, you you color in the other eye of the the doll, but I didn't know that they came from. They ca they come from that, from uh, Bodhidharma. I, I don't I don't know if I'm saying that right. Am I saying that right? Oh boy, oh boy. I don't I I don't I don't. There it is. It is said that the founder of Zen Buddhism, the monk Bodhidharma. Bodhidharma. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to point that out because I thought I thought it was somewhat interesting. All right, now let's hit form is emptiness. Form is emptiness. Emptiness is form. So reads the doctrines in Buddhist scriptures. Emptiness is not separate from form. Form is not separate from emptiness. Whatever is form is emptiness. Whatever is emptiness is form. Emptiness is sometimes translated as void or nothingness. Form okay. is emptiness. Emptiness is form. Everything in this world is false. False is this world to the core. Shotok Taishi, who spread Buddhism in Japan, said something similar. All is false. Buddha is truth. The first part of the quote is self-explanatory. The latter requires context. Buddha. The latter requires con Buddha's uh, truth. Okay. In this instance, is being used as a substitute for the general concept of enlightenment, Bodhi, Satori. Thus, the quote can be interpreted to mean The sole truth of this world is enlightenment, everything else is a falsehood. I will give another example. The Butterfly Dream, a famous legend told by Shuang Tso, one of the founders of Taoism. One day, Shuang Tso was a butterfly in a dream. He awoke from his dream with a question. Was his being a butterfly a dream? Or is this world he awoke in a dream? Many notable people in history have had similar thoughts. These same questions have been passed down for thousands of years. Why is that? Could there be a truth hidden in all this? I 
have no way to argue that. <laughs> the Allegory of a Cave. The Allegory of the Cave is a story first told by Plato, the ancient Greek philosopher. There are prisoners imprisoned in a dark cave. These prisoners have never witnessed the outside world. All they can see are shadows projected on the walls in front of them. Merely the shadows of grass and trees, flocks of birds. Even families of deer would be shown from time to time. But the prisoners who have never seen the outside world believe these shadows to be the truth. Reality they do not doubt or question. This is really... This is an interesting way to put it. If this is a real... A real thing. From Plato, yeah. One day, one of the prisoners unchains themselves and escapes the cave. They see real grass, real trees, real flocks of birds, and real deer. At that time, they saw the world as it truly is. Overwhelmed with emotion, they head back to the cave to tell the other prisoners of their discovery. Everything we've seen until now have been shadows, false images. The outside world is completely different. Although you wouldn't know to call it a shadow. <laughs> None of the other prisoners believe the escapee. Have they gone insane? They laugh. Do you understand this allegory? The escapee was enlightened with the truth and reached Moksha. So what about you? Do you plan to live your days chained in a cave, scraping by a living in a world of falsehood and fraud? Or do you plan to join us? She the decision makes... needs to be made. Please demonstrate your determination. She makes very compelling arguments on, on these things. Like, very, very convincing to whoever she's talking to. Obviously, I don't, I don't like... Like, oh god, now I'm gonna convert, you know, or something like that. But, like, I can see how people would easily be drawn in from that. You know, that alone. Or these, these examples she keeps throwing out. Well, that sure was something. Didn't help much, though. Not necessarily. This information might come in handy later. Heh. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, when the world falls apart. Anyway, there was no information on Amame. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, um... I do want to reload and wink sync him, and then we'll move on. Alright. Show me your secrets. My brain is fried. Need some glucose. Maybe I'll eat some caramel. Why'd you say it so creepily in your own head? <laughs> Maybe I'll eat some caramel. All right, uh, now let's go. All right, caught back up. Now we only have the Sagan Resonance left, despite all of these being on here because I reloaded. I think I'm just not gonna be afraid to reload to see little things like wink sinks and stuff because like, it only takes a second. It's it's not really a big deal, and I would like to see everything we can. Uh, it kind of sucks that the Wink Sync only has one battery, but it makes sense. <laughs> it's a good it's a good excuse to go to the flowchart. All right. No, mommy. Okay. I'm sorry. I think you're just one step behind. Mame <laughs> was here, but she left with Iris to go somewhere. I see. You have a different VA? Uh, there's an elementary school textbook, coffee table, steam coming out of it. Kind of sounded like a different VA. There's a cushion. She's sitting on a sofa. Come on. Kind of wish the cursor was a little slower during this, but same speed for mouse. Ceiling fan is spinning. See, Date, Date's in this picture. Well, I guess not Date, Falco, but but the same thing. Why are you not with him? What 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 happened? Do you guys just reveal who you are and then never talk again? What? I don't understand. Mysterious object on the shelf. 
thank God he's not sh sniffing the shoes, though. I don't know what was up with Date there. That that was weird. A lamp. It's a little, it's a little dark in here. Dining set. I would turn this lamp on even in the day. This whole half of the room is awkwardly dark. Refrigerator. All right, and then there's a kitchen counter, dining table. I think we've covered most things. There's a speaker system. There it is. Wow, we have nothing here whatsoever. Well, I tried. Uh, I'm going to turn up the music quick, though. Okay, it's just slightly, slightly louder. It's Atomi, Iris' mother. About Date. Oh, good, we get to ask about it. Let's wink sync first. I'm sorry, Mommy. Iris is taking a long time to get ready. Mommy? She. She is still not doing good, I see. About Date. Date and Hitomi had a deep relationship. I know that. Why do you ask? Well, um. I haven't seen Date in a while. I've been waiting for him, but... I'm sorry to ask such a delicate question. No, it's okay. Oh, you were waiting for him and he's just... What? What is he doing? <sighs> Alright, we're going for Impish. What foods do you make for your visiting friends? <laughs> Why does everything have eel in it? Uh, as an American, I have no idea. I don't eat eel. I don't think I've ever... I'm, maybe I've eaten eel. I have no idea. Um, a sushi seems kind of normal-ish uh, that you'd have with it. Grilled eel seems brave or loving, maybe. I think liver soup would be crazy. So, hitsuma, hitsumabashi? Bushi? That seems like it could be impish based on the name. Oh my god, it was. Okay. MoMA! We got the MoMA eyeball. Nice. Wow. That was, uh... It was lucky. Once again. Once again, we are going to be Ota. I have failed to be Ota so far. So we need to start Impish and then end up... I think we have... I haven't been Ota at all, so... We'll just start with Impish. What weather do you like? Um, when I was going for crazy, I think windy day was crazy. Snowy day, I think snowy day is brave because, you know, going through the snow. Oh my God, I hate the snow. It's like, there's like eight feet of snow outside right now. Uh, that's a lie, but oh, over exaggeration. Sunny is definitely loving. So I guess rainy has to be impish, but I love uh, if that makes me impish. Rainy's brave? Melancholy E. Really? Which one's impish? Would it just be sunny? Like just the most basic normal day? Huh. We cannot, we cannot be brave. Uh, otherwise I'm going to hit reset real fast cause we bend both Date and Moma. So I need to evolve either into Iris to try to become boss or Ota to become either Pewter or Mama. That That's my goal. I want to make all of them. I really do. I don't know why, but... <sighs> Anything off about Iris and Mama? Anything off about them? Yeah. Like a state of shock or panic, maybe? Let me think. Iris seemed normal, but I do recall Mame seemed troubled. She didn't say a word while she was here. Like her head was somewhere else. While Iris was preparing to leave, she just stared off into the distance. Where did they go? I'm not sure. They didn't tell me where they were going. Oh boy. We have failed so hard to find her. 
Sorry to have wasted your time. There's no such thing as wasting time when you're investigating. Even the most insignificant piece of information could be relevant. Ryuki, I've never seen you so positive. Maybe you're a good influence on me. <laughs> I don't know about that. Let's get going. We need to find Mame. Where? Oh, oh, in the limo. Right, we're, we found nothing, so in the limo we're gonna deduce where she is. After that, we searched all over the city to find her, but ultimately we couldn't. The sun is setting. Let's give up on finding a mommy for now. No, not yet. There's one more place I want to go. I didn't mention it before now because I thought, considering Mame's mental okay. state, Sunfish it would be a pocket. long shot. But maybe... Hey, can you just cut to the chase? Where are you talking about? The maid cafe she works at. She's at the maid cafe, Sunfish Pocket in Akiba. Yeah, I wouldn't... No, this is where I figured. Oh, there's Leon. Mommy, you were here this whole time? We were looking for you. Sorry to interrupt, but Mommy can't talk right now. I don't really know how, but she lost her voice. She must still be struggling with what happened at the studio. But then, why is she here at the cafe? Wait, Leon's here? What is he doing here? Date? Isn't Kizuna gonna be here? Is this where your date is? Table. A chair. We can't interact with the other mermaids. It's a window. Oh my. I wonder what doodle is. Oh, that? It's a service where one of the girls draws something using ketchup. Yep. It's a menu. What is this? Ah, oh, that's like right. that I have. Though mine only has one tip. It looks nothing like that. Okay, first I, I thought she was just talking about a spear, but yeah, no. Of course, of course it's dirty. Jeez, are there no mature women working here? I wouldn't enjoy getting whipped by these girls at all. I don't think this is that kind of establishment. Most of them are in high school. What are you doing, Tama? It's the door I entered from. Wow. Great. Counter. And we got a few things. A rusty, a rusty oil drum. Oh, do we get to hear uh, yelling from the kitchen? Kitchen window. Can't hear. You put a pig in the pot? I'd be yelling at you too. Someone is yelling in the kitchen. They are extremely quiet. I could not hear it, but. Mm. Don't do it. Don't drink. Uh, I know. I don't picture Ryuki being an alcoholic. It's wooden box. What the hell? It like double tapped it. And. Jellyfish shaped light fixtures. They are pretty cool. I like I like these. Okay, I think we're I think we're done. Why are you I here? I told you I was going to meet Kizzy today. She wanted to meet here. Right. Where is Kizuna now? She told me a little bit ago that she's running late. She'll be here after she finishes shopping with Iris. Oh. Is Iris coming too? Yeah, it was actually Iris who planned the night out. It was her idea to have a video night at the cafe. What does that mean? I don't really know, actually. All I know is, this wasn't a solo date with me and Kizzy. Video night? What is that? About the incident. Hey, what happened at the studio? I just want a clue. Anything at all would be helpful. Yeah, none of this is going to lead to anything. Uh, 
why are you here? That you're wearing your outfit. Are you working today? Of course, it's Valentine's Day. There's going to be tons of customers here, and they need as many mermaids as they can get. So her manager begged her to work today. Even though she can't talk? She can write, but... Why did you go to Horatori? Four days oh, Horidori? Ago, on the 10th of February, you went to Horidori Institute, right? Liam told me. Hey, come on! Why did you go to Horidori Institute? Did you meet Tokiko there? No change. Terror. Mame, you ran into Terror at the studio, didn't you? Did they say anything to you? Like I said, Mame can't talk right now. I thought I told you. My god, what do you know? I don't understand what Mommy could be thinking. What's going on in her head? Why don't you ask her to write something? Looking at her now, I don't think she'll write anything. Well, then... Yeah. We should ask her heart. Using the sink machine. You need permission. I don't think she can even give you permission physically right now. I... I guess we just kidnapped her. Is Leon here too? Wait, where is Pewter? Good thing Boss and Pewter aren't here. I'm sure they'll chew you out later. You know it's a crime to use the machine without permission. You could even get fired for this. It's fine. If I get results, Boss won't care. Hmm, you think so? Tama. Can you control the machine? You can do it remotely, right? Are you really going to do this? Mame ran into terror. I'm sure of it. It's highly likely she knows something important. This is familiar. Please, Tama. Please help me. You're my only hope. Ugh, you're so annoying. Fine, I'll do it. This is quite familiar. Uh, who did we sync with in the first game where it was just Aiba and, and Date? I'm there was no. I'm going to skip the warning message because I'm sure you already know. Okay, start it. What was that? Could you start, please? That's better. Here I go. Three, two, one. I think it was Hitomi that we, we synced with, and we learned a lot of information, and it locked us out after that. Was it? Either way, this makes me feel since Peter wasn't there, if it... Uh-oh. If Peter wasn't there, it makes me feel like this is going to be, like, close to the end of this route. Or maybe it'll split, right here. This is Studio De Vita. The Faith to Face set is still up. That means... Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. We have the brand new star of the net world visiting us today. What? Please, show us your dance! You want me to dance? No, no, <laughs> I'm not Aiba, I can't dance! Come on, let's see it! Ugh, I hate that look he gets in his eyes when he's ignoring me. Fine, I'll do it. Resist, allow your heart to take you. Oh my god. Never let this merciless world erase you. <laughs> huh? That didn't really do it for me. Welcome to the quiz show, Faith to Face. I am your host, Andy's Komeiji. It's Komeiji. Wait. His facial expression isn't changing at all. It's creepy. This is a competition for the one and only Quiz King's throne. And tonight, as always, we have a head-to-head -head battle between the champion and challenger. And of course, the champion is me, Andy's Komeiji. The challenger is... Me? Can the challenger beat me? I don't know. I'm pretty good at this. Man, you are monotone right now. What is this? I didn't agree to this. 
I knew Mommy liked quiz shows, but I didn't expect her to dream about them too. The rules are simple. After five rounds of quizzes, whoever has more correct answers will be the winner. The winner will receive this amazing prize. Amazing prize. What? The prize is a mame? A mame, please tell us how you're feeling. Hmm, shy, huh? We'll talk to you throughout the show. The first stage will be right after these commercial messages. A mame um. is the prize. What kind of show is this? I guess we have no choice but to accept the challenge. If we win, we might learn something about terror, too. Oh well. If this is a competition, I'm gonna do my best, Ryuki. I'll finish the scan before the commercials even end. Somnium scan! Activate! I don't know. We've got a quite the oppressive atmosphere and monotone... ...announcer? I mean, look at this. Oh my god. This is like, she's broken right now. Oh no. Okay. Okay. It's a four part. Mama made contact with Tarek. By completing the, competing in the quiz show, you might be able to gain information. Oh boy. Stage one. Let's begin. Who will be reading the questions? Very exciting. I guess he's not going to read the questions himself. Makes sense. I wonder who it'll be. Hmm. Mizuki? Hello. I am Mizuki Date. Oh I don't boy. really get trivia questions or whatever, but here's the first one. Stage one is the scavenger quiz. We filled the studio with different items. Please choose the item you think is the answer. Quickest to answer wins. I guess it's like a scavenger hunt? Guess so. Here's the first question. What's the correct answer? Your time starts now. Huh, that's the question? Jeez, a tough one right from the start. Oh, to joy? Mommy liked watching quiz shows as a child. She enjoyed seeing more of the truth the more she answered. Is this really... Is this really gonna be the music for this? May maybe it'll change. Uh, luckily, I'm pretty sure classical music is totally safe. That this thing... Um, maybe. Uh, I highly doubt I'm gonna mute anything. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, I'll just redo this whole Somnium with the volume off, but... Uh, it is a little loud, though. I'm gonna turn that down. In the next... I'm gonna split it here. So in the next episode, we'll do the Somnium and figure out what's going on. Um, we do have to read through whatever's here. Aphonia. Okay. The technical term for being unable to speak is aphonia. Aphonia is a psychogenetic disability, which is different from aphasia, which is a physical, has a physical cause. Okay. Nirvana X. Yeah, it was a video. Ugh. A creepy video. Good old Kagami. There's a wonderful technology called the internet. Please use this for, to search for more. Hmm, I wonder what you mean by that. You mean you mean to know the the meaning of his name? What is the meaning of Kagami? Maybe I'll look that up in the next one. All right, so uh, I'm gonna split it here though. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.